With the upcoming annual release of the next chapter in the Madden franchise, I decided for my first video I would revisit what is probably one of my favorite articles I have ever written. It's bluntly titled, Madden Sucks. Let me go ahead and start this by saying two things. First off, Madden does suck. Hear me out. Secondly, this is not a typical NFL humor style video, so don't watch this expecting to laugh as our name would suggest, nor will this outline what I plan to do with this channel. On top of that, if you are a Madden diehard, this is not the video for you. However, I recommend you watch this with an open mind, and maybe I'll change your opinion and open your eyes. To be honest, I'm a Madden fanboy myself. I've purchased every game for over 10 years straight, but honestly, it's because I kinda have to be, and I'll get to that later. I've noticed over the years that people on Twitter have seemed to enjoy our various rants, and I've been wanting to make a longer rant for a long time now. When I was playing Madden one night, I was inspired to make this one. So let's get started. Every year, us football fans look forward to and purchase the new Madden game, but why? Is it because Madden is some revolutionary football simulation game that is highly competitive and addicting? No, it's because it is the only football game that is available, and we love football so we're going to purchase it to play the game we love. And because it's the only football game available, we tend to think of it as the best football game and over-glorify it. But where that may be true, it's not a good football game. And there lies the problem, it's the only football game. A lack of competition allows for lazy development and trashing a game that was once, well, perfect. Why though? Well, we as consumers benefit from competition. An example of this that comes to mind is when the Xbox One announced they would sell for $500. Shortly after, Sony came out and announced the PS4 would sell for only $400. And it wasn't too long after that that the Xbox had a price drop to, you guessed it, $400. And it wasn't a coincidence. Now, imagine if Sony didn't exist to make a PS4, and nobody tried competing with Microsoft. They would release a subpar console and charge $1,000 for it, and we would still buy it. It's the only option. You see, competition creates better product. When EA started losing to their competition, they threw their money at the problem. They got an exclusive NFL license that stands to this day. This is what ultimately led to Madden's demise. You see, when companies fight, we, the consumers, are the ones that always win. Now, let's go back to the golden age of Madden, which most would say is the mid-2000s. We had some of the best Madden games like 03, 04, and so on, which are a lot of people's favorite. Do you know what all these games had in common? Competition. 2K, the studio behind the NBA 2K series, obviously, was making a football game called ESPN 2K. EA struggled to compete with the incredible games such as ESPN 2K5, which most say is the best football game of all time. It ultimately forced them to make a better product. As a result, we got Madden 06, a perfect Madden. It ended up becoming one of my favorite Maddens of all time. What Madden currently has is what is essentially a monopoly not only over NFL games, but football games altogether. No one is going to buy a football game that isn't licensed by the NFL. Playing as your favorite team is what makes it fun. The only other option was NCAA, but that's a story for another time. Nobody is going to nor has tried to produce a generic football game, because ultimately it would fail. This means Madden is the only football game that an established studio can produce. This has led to a lazy product that we all dish out $60 of our hard-earned money on every year. And every year I end up saying the same thing. I won't get it. I'm not spending $60 on the same game with less feature. Yet every year I go to the store and I get the game only to be disappointed yet again. But I still play it because I love football, but I don't love Madden. And don't think you love Madden either. The only reason you do is because it is the only football game there is, and you love football. It's like when there's only one girl at a party. It doesn't matter what she looks like, everyone's gonna hit on her. If you have nothing to compare a subpar game to, of course you're gonna think it's great. It's the best NFL game that's still being made, and that is a fact. But again, just because it is the best football game doesn't mean it is a good football game. If you do not see that Madden is lazy, you are simply blind. Look at the game that is out now. It is a money grab that lacks features we once loved and is filled with bugs. And yes, I realize most games have bugs. However, a million dollar studio like EA Sports should be releasing a finished product, not an incomplete product that requires a million patches only to never be fixed. Madden used to have amazing features. In specific, I know a young me used to love being able to make a custom team for my school. It had NFL players on it with a logo to match and I got to fully customize the stadium, a feature most people never got to experience or just simply forgot about. Now let's look at Madden 04 Owner Mode, which was franchise mode on steroids. You got to take control of day-to-day -day operations, including setting ticket prices, scheduling promotions, and consulting with advisors. 
We've only seen it once again in Madden 25, but it was taken out the following year. You see, for the first time you could not only be the player and GM, but call all the shots in the organization. Imagine how cool that would be if it evolved these last 11 to 12 years and wasn't taken out of the game. One year, they even took out franchise mode to bring it back the following year and advertise it as a new feature. You're probably asking, why did they take out these features if they were so good? And the answer is simple. It's to force people who enjoyed a customized experience like that to play Madden Ultimate Team, which is nothing but a cash grab pay to win game mode. And now you're probably saying, but they add cool features like enhanced defense in Madden 15 or enhanced catching in Madden 16. These features literally broke the game. Following the year that the defense won the championship, the Seahawks won the championship, Madden 15 stacked defense, especially D-line, to the point that getting a sack didn't even feel accomplishing. The enhanced catching of Madden 16 stacked receivers allowing you to chuck it downfield and make a one-handed touchdown catch with some no-name player like Philip Dorsett. No offense to Philip Dorsett. The next thing we love about Madden is how you get to play as your favorite team and your favorite player, but does it really feel like it? Where in NBA 2K, when you play as LeBron or Curry, you feel as if you are those players. In Madden, it's just not the same. When you run the ball with Marshawn Lynch, you don't feel like you're Marshawn Lynch. You're just running back number 24 with a stacked trucking stack. When you're in the pocket with a scramble QB like Wilson, you just bounce off one more sack than Peyton Manning would and run a little bit faster too. When you score with Cam Newton, how cool would it be for him to do the super cam or dab and then hand the ball to a kid? How hard of an animation is that to do? Little features like that make you feel like you are the player. These little things would just add to the experience as a whole. But hey, at least the graphics improve. Because graphics make a video game, right? Because whether or not we enjoy something should revolve around whether or not Kaepernick has tattoos or how shiny a helmet is. That's simply not the case. Graphics do not matter. Some of the highest praise games of all time, like Super Mario and Call of Duty 4, have some of the worst graphics. And even then, the graphics have led to visual bugs. The ball will go six feet deep into the ground when you're tackled. Players won't have a nameplate when the sideline's shown. And don't you love having to back out of a replay two times because when you try the first time, half of the players are partially or even sometimes fully invisible? Little things like that annoy you more so than a player having tattoos matters. And then there's all these other bugs. You have a QB wrapped up falling down and he throws the ball 50 yards downfield just so the receiver dives past the ball, reaches backwards and makes a catch. But then when the QB throws the ball directly to cornerback Patrick Peterson, he just drops it. Every year, Madden improves so minimalistically in certain areas and regresses in others. I mean, Madden 15 and 16 are exactly the same with an added aggressive and overpowered catch. Apparently, everyone can consistently mimic the catch OBJ was only able to do once. And while we're on the topic of OBJ, Madden has shown so much bias it's crazy. When Richard Sherman was the cover star, he had an overall rating of 99, putting him as the best corner to ever play the game. To put that in perspective, Charles Woodson had a rating of 93 in Madden 10 following one of the best years of his life, and he's arguably the greatest cornerback to ever play the game. When OBJ was a cover star following his rookie season, they gave him a 94 rating, even though when veteran Randy Moss had 23 touchdowns in one season, they only gave him a 93 overall rating. Andrew Luck had never missed a snap until the 2015-2016 season, but when you tried to run the ball with him in Madden 14 or 15, he would always get injured. Another detail that could easily be shrugged off is eliminating the soundtrack. They went three years without a soundtrack, which was a large part of what Madden is known for. This includes their 25th anniversary game. Luckily, this was a feature that was brought back, but it still highlights the laziness of the studio. Now, I am not saying Madden is the worst game to ever be made, and I'm not saying EA is the devil. I'm saying Madden has had 27 years to perfect a football game, and these last 10 have been making one step forward and two steps back. It's time for the NFL to give someone else a try, or Madden to step up. Please share this video, and maybe it'll make a change. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.